Romans 3 says, For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. James chapter 2 says, Abraham believed and he was called the friend of God. Hebrews 13 says, The Lord will never leave us nor forsake us. First John chapter 1 says, if we say that we have no sin, we deceive ourselves, and the truth is not in us. But if we confess our sins, the Lord is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to, and to cleanse us of all unrighteousness. Matthew 6 says, if we forgive those that have sinned against us we will be forgiven but if we do not forgive those that have that have sinned against us neither will we be forgiven Luke 6 says to love your lo love your enemies do good to them lend to them and and be not concerned that they might not repay Matthew 22 says one of the most important and greatest commandments is to love your neighbor as yourself listen to me i have had there have been times where i have forgotten to follow the same the same the same tips and 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 advice i have given you there have been times when I have not followed the 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 advice I have given you. I don't know why, but sometimes I I forget to follow the tips and advice I have given you. But listen to me. One of the main 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 reasons I do these videos is to help you and I both remember them and so that we won't have to have so many reminders in in all or any of our devices but listen to me whenever i don't follow my own advice and whenever you and i don't don't follow the the instructions that the bible gives we just we should ask ask we should ask the lord to make us want to follow his words and commandments in the Bible. Listen to me. We should just ask him to make us remember. <coughs> Pardon me. We should just ask him to make us remember to ask him to make us want to pray that that we will willingly ask him to help us follow his advice and his commandments in the bible his advice and his commandments are both the same thing they they all lead to a they they all lead to a better and more prosperous and more peaceful and a more helpful and a more friendlier life but 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 listen to me Romans Romans 3 says for all have sinned and come sh and and come short of the glory of God and first John chapter 1 says if we say that we have not sinned we deceive ourselves and the truth is not in us and also remember that that Philippians 4 says I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. John 8 says, Satan, who is also called the devil, is a liar and the father of lies. That is John 8 that says, Satan, who is also called the devil, is a liar and the father of lies. John 10 also calls the devil the thief who comes to steal, kill, and and destroy 
I was just thinking it would really, really, really help you and I both if if we if we put a reminder in our devices to ask the Lord to never let Satan be able to make us unwilling to pray to follow the commandments of the of the Bible. It would really, really, really help you and I both if we put a reminder in our favorite devices to pray for the Lord to make Satan unable to make us forget to pray to want to follow the commandments in the Bible. In the old commandments that are for us today who, f who follow the New Testament church. But listen, always remember, for all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. And if we say that we have no sin, we deceive ourselves. <coughs> and, and the truth is not in us. Listen to me. No, ma no matter what tips I will give you, I will not be perfect. I, I do all these videos to help you and I both remember what can help you and I both. That way, that way, I, I won't need as many reminders in my phone. And that way, you can remember some of what can help you too live a better, godlier life. But, but, like I said... Even after I have given you several videos that that can help you have better behavior, I have I have forgotten to pray to follow the advice that I have given you, and I have done the exact the exact opposite thing that that we as Christians who follow Christ should do, but. Does that mean I am a hypocrite or a heretic? No. And for the record, no one has ever called me a hypocrite or a heretic. I have just been doing some things. I have had to do some things that I that I don't particularly want to do. And I really get upset when I have to do them. But listen to me, sometimes when I get upset, I have a tendency, I have a tendency to cuss and, and get, get really mad or upset. But listen to me, no one on this earth, no one on this earth is perfect. We are all a member of a sin, of a sinful race, which is called the human race. But listen, Christ died to set us free from, from sin. But we will not be free from sin until his return. Until he returns, always remember, no one is perfect, we all do wrong, and we all sin. Thank you very much. Please like, share, and subscribe.